Now to get access to Trade of Eight, I'm using Top Step. And I want to take you through the account comparison and how to actually get set up with a Top Step account. So I'm on the topstep.com page. I just go to earn funding. It takes me to a products page. I can see here that there's a 50K, 100K and 150K option. Three different account types that I can select and they're all trading futures. So I've made a quick spreadsheet on the account balance versus the normal price versus the current discount price compared to the target and max drawdown. Because what we want to work out is, depending on what we prefer, do we want to aim for an easier target, have more max drawdown, or go for the cheaper funding per account balance? So we've got the account balances here, 50, 100, and 150 as per the layout. We've got the normal price, 165, 325, and 375. And we've got the percentage of funding. So we've got 0.33% of the 50K. So the 165 is 0.33% of the account balance or funding that you're going for on the normal price. You can see it's the same for 100K, but then it is cheaper. So it's 0.25% for the 150K. So that means that on the normal pricing, you get better value for your dollar going for the 150K because that funding is cheaper per dollar that you get in funding. On the discounted price, we've got $49.99 and $149 respectively. The percentage of funding is 0.1% of the total account balance funding that you're going to get. So on the discounted price right now, any of the funding amounts are actually the same percentage wise. Now looking at the target, it's all 6%. So you've got $3,000 target at 50K, $6,000 target at 100K, or $9,000 target at 150K. So all 6%. So regardless of what account balance you go for, the target will be the same percentage wise. Max drawdown on the other hand is set to 2,000, 3,000 and 4,500 respectively. And the percentage of funding is actually 4% of the total account balance for the 50K. And then 100 and 150K accounts are 3%. So you get a little bit more leeway on the 50K. So right now, the best value, in my opinion, would be the 50K, purely because the max drawdown is the hardest part of the challenge. And the less likely you are to hit that max drawdown, the more likely you are to actually get funded and make use of the pricing that you're getting. If you're confident that you would stay within the max drawdown regardless at 3%, and the normal pricing was active, you may prefer to go for the 150K because of the cheaper percentage funding compared to the account balance. But right now, it's all at 0.1% of the total account balance, meaning that basically they're all effectively the same price in relation to the funding that you're getting. So to have that extra drawdown of 1% max drawdown compared to the others, so you've got four instead of the three, on the 50k, I'm going to be selecting the 50k challenge. So all I do is hit select. It asks to check if I'm a human. Success. That'll take me through to the sign up page and I'll fill this out quickly and start trading. It now requests for me to verify my mobile number and enter a verification code. It redirects me to the terms of use and privacy policy and it takes me to a beginner's introduction. Now I can select the account that I want to use, which is the 50K as discussed earlier. Select Tradevate because I want to use Tradevate as my platform. Obviously, if you want to use something else, you can. There's a range of different platforms you can actually use. Hit Next and it will take you to the payment page where you place in your credit card details and make the payment. You can also do the platform selection and change trade of eight to something else if you prefer. So you do have that option on this button here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the credit card details. It's gone through and it's just processing my payment. The next step is basically agreeing to these terms such as understanding the program, understanding risk, committing to accountability. So understanding that you are responsible for your account and your trading. These are really important features of becoming a trader is being accountable for your own actions and understanding the market that you're entering into before taking up challenges such as this.
because it's really important that you know what you're doing enough to not blame someone else. So that's what this page is about and all we need to do is hit I agree to go on to the next stage and that takes me to a video. So we can watch the get started, it does take you through the different goals and trading objectives that are required to actually get funded with Top Step. So I'm just going to click through that. You can upgrade your market data subscription, it is optional, but if you want level 2 data, which is the data below and above the bid and ask on the depth of market, and that will create your VWAP and build out your um, different indicators and things in terms of your volume, you would need this, but you don't necessarily need it to trade on a general basis. So you can either add it, but I'm going to go uh, no thanks. I'm just going to show you how it all works in general. There's now a form on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange certification, and it basically wants me to confirm that I'm a non-professional, and we're now in the dashboard. So here in this dashboard, we've got the high watermark, the balance at the moment, and the low that we've been. So we can get an idea of where we're sitting in terms of our max drawdowns and our targets and everything from this dashboard. We can also see a range of other information such as best trading day, best day, worst day, and more. We can also see the objectives. So we can see that we've got the profit target. We also make note that there is a max daily drawdown of $1,000 here, which was not mentioned in the original front page. So that's a bit of a letdown that they don't mention that. There is a 50% rule where you don't want to make more than 50% at any one time. So that's an important thing to note. If you make $1,500 out of your 3K target, then that's 50%. So you don't want to make any more than that because what that means is if you make, say, $2,000, you're then going to have to make sure that the total profit reduces that $2,000 day down to at least 50%. So timesing your biggest profit by two, if you make $2,000, that means you'd have to make $4,000 total to pass based on that consistency rule. Now back to that $1,000 drawdown max for the day, if you're trading in line with certain risk elements, which you should be anyway, you shouldn't necessarily hit that $1,000 drawdown anyway. So there's your objectives and rules and everything up there. Also remembering not to hold your trades overnight. Many of these futures products, they don't like you to hold trades overnight or over weekends. They like you to get in and out and effectively day trading on the futures markets. Just a quick insight as to why I don't necessarily choose Top Step as my first option. It's mainly because of the instruments. They don't actually allow the index markets, which I like. So scrolling down now to the 50K trading combined charts, we've got the balance, we've got the daily drawdown, and then we've got the max drawdown down the bottom here. And then we can also see up the top the target. On this graph it will update every day to kind of show us where we're sitting, how far away our targets and our max drawdowns are as well. So it's a really important chart and then down below once we start trading there's going to give us some additional stats such as winning trades, average losing trades and so on. So some nice little stats down there to work with. I'm going to launch Trade of 8 now. I'm going to log in with the details that were emailed to me. It's come up with an error so I'm just deleting the cookies and I'm going to log back in. Now I've got access to a license agreement here. I just need to basically read this and accept. Log into simulated environment, accept the role forward and move through these kind of tutorials, skip that. And I can see here I've got the 50K account so I can trade. We see here we've got the level one depth of market for an instrument there. We can see that it's not level two because we don't have more green and red lines either side of the bid and ask. Let's trade. So we're here in Trade of 8 now. I've got my account set up and I just scroll on the chart to move it. I can change my time frames up here. We're just going to look at the British pound. We've got the depth of market. So we can see here we've got the sell side if we want to sell can change our quantity of contracts that we go in for or we can sell or buy at market. So we can see here the contracts at level one are moving on the sell and buy side so the bid and ask. 
Now we want the time and sales to see what's actually going on. So when I click it, it doesn't work. So I go up to the plus, I drag it to where I want to go. I change the symbol to the British pound, which is what I want to see. And I can see here the actual contracts that go through the actual futures exchange. So that's a really important ticker or indicator to watch. Now I'm over in the depth of market, I can basically click on the price to set a limit order to get in or out of the market on either the sell side or the buy side. And I'm using this ticker, the order flow or the time and sales to figure out what's important and how I actually want to trade this market right now. So based on the chart, we've got some support down in this level. So where we are now, we've got a bit of support and I'm hoping that at this time we're going to go long. So I'm entering a buy contract. As you can see, I clicked on the buy side. Down in the orders, we can see the limit, the, the limit order was placed and we're in the market. Now we're getting a bit of volatility, it's pushing a little lower and we're hoping to now come back higher and I'm going to enter more trades as the market moves in my favor just to give you an example of what's going on. So we've, we can see here that under position on the depth of market we've got one contract in the market that tells us the price that we're in at and we've got the little green arrow as well to show us where we're at break even. Up the top, we've also got the equity. So that equity is moving alongside the open PL right up the top there above the depth of market. And we're just going to watch this time and sales along with the chart, of course, but the time and sales to tell us what's going on in the market. So just waiting for some momentum to kick in. I could buy at market, but I don't want to do that because what it does when I buy at market, instead of going in where that limit order went, it would actually go to the ask side and fill me at a higher price. Now, the spreads are quite tight here and that's okay, but if the spreads were larger, it's going to cost me a lot more, but even in a tight spread scenario like the foreign exchange futures, I am still losing a point or two on my market entries or exits. So if you have the ability to wait for that limit order to be filled, you're much better off doing that, particularly if you're going to be trading quite a bit. As you can see, every time I actually get filled, my position counter in the depth of market up here goes to a higher number. So right now we're at five. That's the maximum contracts right now for the current account that I've got with top step. So we've seen buyers come in in the time and sales. We've added to the position to try and build a position in the direction that's going to favor our trade. We can also notice that the green position number signifies that it's a buy position. Now that would actually show as a red number so the five would actually be red up the top here in the, the depth of market if I was on the sell side so effectively wanting the market to go down in this case I want it to go up and we'll look to probably exit here shortly if we can and I'm just going to change the quantity to five contracts to match the current position so I can get out all at once. So I've changed the quantity, I've set a limit, and if it pops up one more point, it'll take me out if it, if it can fill the order with the order flow that's actually available. And I'm watching the market, I can cancel the order because it didn't quite get there. So I just wanna watch the market now and see what's happening. I can also adjust the settings to show P&L in ticks on the depth of market and I also want to see the estimated profit and loss in dollars. So we can see here now there's a column put there that shows the estimated profit or loss so we know where we want to get out 
if we get out at a certain price, it's going to be around, say, $125 or $154. And that way I can just more easily calculate where my risk settings should be as well. And since I don't want to make more than $1,500 on any one day, I can also monitor the upside too and make sure that I'm not going over that $1,500 because of that 50% rule, the consistency rule. I don't want to push up my target higher than it needs to go. So I'm just waiting for the market to play out. We've got some possibly weak hands that the market's trying to come back down. Any buyers that have put their stops to break even, the market is likely to come down, soak those stop losses up at a break even level and then hopefully we'll return higher. So this is day one of my top step trading account. I'm basically going to get out at a profit if I can, but I'm not going to wait out the market for too long. Just to show you guys how it actually works, what the process is and how it all looks once you're in and out of the market. Also, I've got another tip just to basically clear out any orders So I'm just going to look to get out here. It'll be about $150 profit for the five contracts. We've skipped over that and we've been filled. So now I can see it's $50,132. The open PL is now zero. We've got our orders and positions down the bottom here. You can see there's no open positions. One thing I want to double check is basically I want to cancel so exit market and cancel all orders sometimes there's a random limit order that's that you can't see and you just want to close all of those out and make sure you're completely flat with no potential entries that are going to come when the market moves just like that we're up 132 USD in about eight minutes of trading if you enjoyed this video or took something positive from it please hit the like button below it lets me know this is helping others. To see more great content like this, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and stay updated with the latest.